Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for Wow Me Wednesday. I know I'm in a different setting tonight because we're moving things around the house because we're actually planning for a baby and moving things around to prep the baby's room. So yes, this is my first Wow Me Wednesday announcing that my husband and I are expecting our first baby, our first child, and we're so elated and the first video that exposes my baby bump. So forgive this kind of makeshift studio for tonight, but that's not what we're talking about. Tonight, I wanna to talk about gestures during presentations. Clients often ask me, should I use my hands during presentations? And I answer back with a question. Do you use your hands during a conversation? And does it feel comfortable and natural to you? And most of the time the answer is yes. So yes, use your hands. But here are some tips on what to do to remain engaging with your hands without being distracting. So three tips for you tonight. Tip number one, I'm gonna call the clean zone. You know how when surgeons wash their hands and afterwards they walk around like this so that they stay within the clean zone so they don't touch something that would infect their hands again. So think about your clean zone as this range. I oftentimes, when I present, I often stay within this range around my waist and move around like this. I could talk like this or like this, or if I'm comparing two different things, from here to here, that sort of thing. So you're still within this range without being too big and wild and flailing. Tip number two, when it comes to using gestures and in an engaging way is something I just did. It's when you're listing something. So think of it as a count up because I normally do one, two, and three, my different tips. So I, tip number two, like this, is to be able to count on your fingers to point out your different points, your different tips to help your audience stay on track. And I keep it here and not like this, tip number one, tip number two, because that doesn't seem very natural. You're, it's too big of a move. So you can keep it right here. Again, this is within the clean zone. Tip number three for a gesture, a safe gesture that you can use during presentations is the aha, I like to call it. It looks like a number one, but with a tilt of a head because it's like a light bulb moment and a, a point where your audience should really pay attention. It's an enlightening moment. So I was observing my own videos and some other presenters that I admire and I do see this. So when you're wanting to emphasize a certain point, you could say, and I really wanna stress this, or you could say, and so you know, so it's a phrase that goes along with the aha movement. So I hope those are helpful for you for your next presentation and how to use your gestures to be engaging and very conversational with your audience members. For my next Wow Me Wednesday, I'll show you some gestures that are safe to use for when you're on camera that I would use when I was a TV news reporter. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.